What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the salary of a PA. So I looked at a couple resources online. Um, one most notably is going to be the BLS. That's going to give us the, um, the brew of labor statistics average of a PA salary. And then I went on Reddit because there's a really good forum where PAs are commenting on what part of the country they live in, what specialty they work in, how much money they make, and how long they've been in the field for as well. So uh, kind of cross-checking that and just kind of seeing what we come up with, really. The average salary listed online, I think for most professions, is very skewed because it's the average. So Reddit's going to shed some light on that piece. So, all right, let's talk about the salary listed on the BLS. So. Um, the stats I have to go off of is the 2022 median or average pay for a physician assistant. The yearly pay comes out to $126,000. That averages out to $60.58 per hour. Just some other information. Um, typical entry-level education is a master's degree, as you probably already know. Um, <clears throat> if you are a PA, I guess. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. And um, the number of jobs in 2022 was 148,000. And the job outlook from 2022 to 2032 is expected to increase 27%, which is much faster than an average. And those numbers also um, further correlate to employment change in 2022 to 2023 being uh, 39,300. So there's some quick facts for you. All right, so... I'm like funny and I think it's really because the either because I just got over a recent URI or because uh maybe I have allergies here in Ohio. I don't know. So, but we're making it. So sorry if I clear my throat so much. All right, moving on to Reddit. So, as previously mentioned, somebody created a forum asking for people to share their salary, which I think is a good idea, honestly, because we should really have a better idea of what our colleagues are being paid. Um, I don't really feel like things like that should be secretive. So it's very helpful to know like what part of the country, what specialty, job experience, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that way the pay is pretty like similar. So first up, we have a uh, <laughs> someone's Reddit name is Just a Spine PA. So this uh, post it is three years ago, so it's a little outdated, but. Um, they are living in the East Coast slash Mid-Atlantic. They are orthospine slash uh, trauma PA. Um, so I can already expect that the salary is probably going to be pretty high because that's a big responsibility. Their salary is a 200000 to 250 um, in the last three years. And that consists of base salary, productivity bonus, and they get full benefits, CME, so continuing medical education, and PTO, so personal time off, and their experience is five years. So... Um, that's a lot of money and obviously that's way above the average, but that's a pretty important job. So makes sense. Next, we have uh, someone that works in the mid Atlantic region again, and they work in emergency medicine and they, their pay is surprisingly um, lower than the average. It's 87 K with 12 K bonus. Um, but they work three twelves weekly, but they're a brand new grad. So, but that's under the average of, what did we say, 126? So, um, for them though, they may be getting some on-the-job training potentially. So that might be why their salary is a little bit lower. Which for like EM, PAs, I usually see, or I've heard of um, hospitals hiring them and they train them, but they only pay them like half the salary of, 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 uh, of the uh, average really, so. That could be what's going on there. The next one we have is someone in Northwest Florida and they work in emergency medicine again. And they work 72 hours every two weeks, all shift work. They make 165K, okay. Um, but they retired last year after 29 years of practice. So it's 29 years of experience making 165. That's a lot of experience. So um, above the average by about what, 39K? So. All right, next we have someone in central New York. They work in, orth they work in orthopedics and um, they make 110K, so less than the um, average. However, they are a new grad, so that might be why as well. So probably some OJT in there, I presume, which is the reason for a lower pay. 
All right, let's see who else we have. Something unique. SoCal, internal medicine, 170K per year. They work Monday through Friday, 35 to 40 hours per week, employee plus benefits. Four and a half years of practice, three of which are in internal medicine. So considering cost of living in SoCal, um, 170 is above the, the uh, national average of a PA. So all right, let's find uh, two more. Two more that are different. Pain management. Okay, that's a little different. Pain management, ortho spine. Pain management, ortho spine, northeast. They work Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. Um, have an hour for lunch, 34 days off, plus 8 holidays. That's pretty good. Um, 140K with 15K bonus, so 155. They've been the PA for seven years, but they're new to pain this year. So no prior experience with pain management. I don't know about ortho though, since they said slash ortho spine. Um, don't know what their experience is there, but um, 155 is more than the uh, average salary, so it's pretty good. Northeast though, I'm not quite sure what the cost of living is in the Northeast. I would presume expensive though. But... And let's close it up with family medicine, my favorite. <laughs> um, Central California, okay, that's where I'm from. Family medicine and urgent care. They make 152k they're a new grad and they started in 2020 and so this forum was three years ago so relatively new grad maybe within a year making 152k central cali i mean cali is all expensive honestly um central california that depends kind of where we're looking at we're looking at the bay area or we're looking at just the south of the bay area um bakersfield fresno like it's kind of hard to say but uh i think bakersfield fresno that sort of area is a little bit uh cheaper that wraps up what I wanted to talk about, being that the average salary of a PA is 126k, and then you can see that the specialties and experience and location in the U.S. factors different salaries, um, and that was reflected in the Reddit thread. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know what the PA salary is going to look like, knowing that the Fuel is going to increase 27% between 2022 and 2023. So there is a massive doctor shortage as well. Um, there's a massive family medicine shortage. So I read articles that the government is trying to figure out how to incentivize family medicine. Maybe look at increasing their pay in comparison to specialty pay. Because specialty pay usually pays more than family medicine. Um, I will say family medicine, that's the only experience I have. But um, I think it personally it is rough. And it's a big responsibility. So I don't quite think that the pay matches, honestly. But we will see what the government decides. Um, I will share military pay as a PA in another video. Since the pay is, um, it varies on like how long you've been in, what rank you are, what bonuses you're taking. So I'll just do that in a whole nother video. But yeah, anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then don't forget to subscribe as well. And I appreciate your guys' time. I'll see you guys in the next video. So just a disclaimer, as I am editing this video and watching it back, my facial expressions often don't really like match my thought process. So um, I think that's something that I've struggled with all my life. Um, so it's really easy for people to assume kind of what I'm thinking, um, when a large chunk of the time it's not really, um, consistent with what my true thoughts are. So just disclaimer, um, but anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.